Chapter 1, System Configuration Components of Our Local Firefighting System, Chapter 2, How to Activate the System, Chapter 3, Onboard Test Method, and Chapter 4, Maintenance. Please, refer to our instruction manual if you have one. In this chapter, we are explaining standard system, configuration components of local firefighting system. There might be slight differences in components or installing location depending on vessels. However, they do not affect firefighting performance or rules. Now we follow the piping system from the freshwater tank to mist nozzles from the freshwater tank, manual suction valve, suction valve strainer and pan per installed. Manual suction valve is always open for water intake at any time. Distribution valves provided for each protected area, mist nozzles are installed above protected areas. This is the starter to operate the pump, on the left side, in the main control panel to activate and to stop the system. It also monitors, most discharge, or a low water level, on the right side in the local control box, to activate and to stop the system. These two panels are alarm manager panels, they are provided in engine control room, and will house to indicate, when the local firefighting system is activated. The lower component is an alarm, which is installed in the engine room. This also indicates when the local firefighting system is activated. There are also levels which drain valve and test valve. In case of a manned operating vessels, a fire detecting alarm system, is required to activate, the local firefighting system. Chapter 2, How to Activate Local Firefighting System. There are two types of operation systems for engine rooms. Manned operation, or unmanned operation. Activation of local firefighting system differs depending on operation type, and with manned operation type, activation method is only, manual activation. For unmanned operation vessels, there are two activation methods, manual activation, and automatic activation, connected to the fire detecting alarm system. The system starts select switch on the main control panel, is provided to select activation method, during operation at sea system start select switch is usually set, to auto and manual mode. So the system can be automatically activated by interacting with fire detecting alarm system. Manual activation can also be done in auto and manual mode. Manual mode should be selected when maintenance, or repair working with possible smoke or flame. In order to avoid the fire detecting alarm system may, automatically activate the local firefighting system manual activation fire, could check fire situation, then press system start button, for the protected area where the fire occurred, if possible, shut off fuel supply to the machines in the fire area. Control fans to avoid affecting the discharge of mist, when activating local firefighting system, suction valve and distribution valves or open pump starts operating by opening both valves. Mist is discharged to protected areas monitor the situation from a safe place which cannot be affected by smoke or radiated heat. The fear for firefighting or main fire system if required stop the local firefighting system when using the main fire system, if the intensity of the fire is strong, discharge alarm sounds, are the main control panel and alarm monitor panel system, automatically stops after 20 minutes. However, system can be stopped by pressing systems tab button when extinguishing is confirmed by the crew. In this section. We will explain automatic activation connected, to the fire detecting alarm system. Within manned operation vessels, lay type fire detector and smoke type, fire detector which are installed, of our protected areas detect fire the local firefighting system automatically activates, after receiving an activating a signal from the fire detecting alarm system for you detecting alarm system does not produce an activation signal. 
and this both smoke and flame detectors operate. There is a buzzer sound at both main control panel and alarm monitor panel and then indicates where mist is discharged. So the crew are requested to monitor and take appropriate action in a safe place. Stopping the local firefighting system, is the same procedure as manual activation, away when automatically activated activation, signal should be reset on the control panel, of the fire detecting alarm system without resetting the local firefighting system will restart, please check how to reset activating signal, from the instruction manual provided by fire, detecting alarm system manufacturers. In this section, we will explain how to operate the system, when it does not work after trying regular activating procedures. Make sure that power of the panel is supplied, turn off power for the main control panel. Please be careful as all alarms are now malfunctioning. Open dissection valve set, open sign to a triangle on the actuator. Open the distribution valve in the fire area in the same way as opening the section valve. Switch activation mode, of the pump starter to manual press the start button, most is now released monitor it as when activating normally. To stop the system press the stop button on this data. In this chapter, we will explain the onboard test method, for the local firefighting system. There are three types of tests carried out on barred system, Operation test, alarm test, and discharge test. Discharge test should be carried out last, as some water may remain inside pipes after the test system operation test by manual activation. Carry out this test without, operating the pond, so that mist will not be discharged. Turn off power for the pump starter, disconnect the wire, on the electrical motor. Switch the activation mode to remote turn on power close the manual suction valve. Make sure you don't forget this action. Open the drain valve in case water might, remain in the piping. If an air hose is connectable alter the drain valve and the test valve while supplying air for efficient drainage. When connecting an air hose during the system, Operation test error coming out from nozzles can be checked in protected areas. Press the lamp and a bazaar test button on the main control panel, to check if all lamps light and buzzer sounds. Press the alarm test button to check, if the alarm inside the engine room sounds. Remove the plastic cover for the system start button. Set the system start select switch to manual. Select a discharging place, then press the system start button. Check if the suction valve and the distribution valves are open. Check if the alarm sounds. When connecting an air hose. Check if air is coming out from nozzles. So most might be discharged from nozzles when water was not sufficiently drained from piping. It doesn't affect the machinery, but will you recommend protecting them by using vinyl seat? Check if the discharge alarm for the protected area sounds on the main control panel, and the alarm monitor panel. After confirming operations, press the system start button. Repeat the same check for each protected area. Replace the cover for the system started button, after completing the test. Next, activated the system from each local control box inside the engine room to, check operating condition for each protected area repeatedly. Check if a protected area corresponds with, an alarm on the main control panel. The manual activation test is now completed. In this section, we will explain about a system operation test activated, by your fire detecting alarm system. Please make sure that you know, how to handle the fire detecting alarm system, well prior to this test. Set the system start select switch, on the main control panel to, auto and manual position. Send out an artificial signal to flame detectors and smoke detectors installed inside the engine room. Check the main control panel, and the alarm monitor panel. If a discharge alarm sound, for protected areas, when the artificial signal was sim satisfactorily sound.
Also check if, the alarm is sounding in the engine room. Release the fire alarm signal from, the fire detecting alarm system. Then press the system stop button, to turn off the system. Repeat the same process, to check operating condition for, each protected area. If a normal condition alarm test, low water level alarm and power loss alarm for the, low water level test. Keep lifting up the levers, switch lever provided on the fresh water tank. Check if an alarm sounds on the main control panel after about, 15 seconds for the power loss test. Turn off power for the main control panel. Check if an alarm appears, on other control devices, like the engine control console the discharging test in this test is charged water from the test line. Make sure that all distribution valves are closed prior to the test. Check that nobody's around is charging places. Turn off power for the main control panel. Open the manual suction valve. Open the suction valve. Open the valve on the test line. Turn off power saw this data, and connected the wire to the electrical motor. Turn on power. Then switch activation mode to manual. Press start button to start discharging. Check if the pump operates and the needle, on the pressure gauge increases. Check if water is discharged. After confirming discharge, press the stop button to stop discharging. Post test the procedure after the discharging test. Drain as much water as possible. After completing the test, close the manual suction valve. Open the drain valve, to let water out from piping. When air can be supplied forcibly, drain water by using the test line. Please be careful as, water may burst, from the drain valve. Close the test valve, and the drain valve. Set the activation mode on the, starter back to remote position turn on power, for, the main control panel. The suction valve will be automatically closed. Open the manual next chapter. We will explain periodical checking to maintain, the best condition for the local firefighting system, and checking, list for important parts, daily maintenance, carry out lamp and buzzer test on the main control panel and, alarm monitor panel. Make sure that all, the light and buzzer sound working, adequate amount of water inside the fresh water tank. Make sure, that the system starting select switch is set to auto, and manual position. Carry out alarm test on the, main control panel. Make sure that the alarm inside, sounds. Check if the power lamp for the, pump starter is on. Check if the activation, mode on the panel is set to remote position. Check if manual valves like the drain valve or, test valve are closed. When devices are connected, to the fire detecting alarm system, make sure that the, system is in operation. Semi-annual maintenance, system operating a test and discharging, a test to be carried out to prevent stick of component parts. Please refer to the previous chapter for, test methods enable maintenance. Also free holes, and clean the strainer on the suction line. Missed nozzle check. Since missed nozzles are made of stainless steel, they hardly rust. However, after discharging, missed overhaul and clean the internals drainer if missed is not discharged, examine nozzles during a dry docking.